Hello and warm welcome to another workshop about the new features in the Management Center 2.5.2. In this video we explaining the usage and the configuration of the new soft button functionality. Before we explain what soft button means and how you can configure the soft buttons, maybe we come with a simple example how to use the, that in the praxis. Um, in the practical life there we want to close the open garage here and for that I have defined here an, a soft button before which is called garage Babsi or garage Babsi. This is simply a message which I can trigger right now out of the management center to close my garage door. A simple usage, you see something with the camera, oh I need to react on that, in this case closing the garage door and that you can define with an own soft button. Maybe for the expert um, here, the soft buttons was available as well before in the management center. So it's a quite uh, a long old functionality. But what we have changed, we have changed in the first hand where to configure the soft buttons. We split the usage from the operator to the admin very clear. In this case, the operator can press and use the buttons which the administrator has configured. The administrator has the possibility under the component view, and if we go here on the component view, there are the different tabs, and we have added a new tab. It's called soft button, and as you can see, I have here all the predefined soft button which I've configured before in my system, and there is also the the command garage Babsi. If I click on that. And then I can see here the command, and this is a predefined command. And all that I add was the message name. I know I have configured a camera that when the message garage Babsi will be getting through the message channel, um, the devices, the input output box will react and open my garage door. All what I did here in this case is using here the HTTP command, the predefined command, and adding this message. Um, if we did that for example for other um, commands we have here a long list of predefined commands in the system so you see we can trigger management center um, as well in the system we can also trigger standard um, commands of the cameras cameras have the mainly used uh, API commands is to switch something, light on, light off, uh, open a barrier, uh, using any privacy options, um, using any notifications, in this case I was using Emmett's message, or using any advanced uh, commands, Yeah, for that we have also predefined commands in it. We also have integrated external commands, Yeah, we have Petlight, Kentix or Loxone for example, added with the typical API commands which we used in combination with these devices. We have also commands for the move cameras integrated in the soft buttons like to start auto tracking or stop auto tracking. We have also management center integrated and as you can see on the right hand side there is also the possibility to uh, define a button, I have predefined here a button, it's called MXMC Focus Camera, which switch the selected camera, the shown camera in the management center, maybe to another monitor or to another management center. Um, if we click on this, we see as well, okay, we can use MXMC Focus Camera, you can also change the name. Um, we need to tell which camera we like to see, that is a parameter what we need to enter. Yeah? We also can adding several uh, IPs to the system. Yeah. Let me take an effective um, IP address of cameras. Yeah. So you need to type in the IP address you like to see on that grid. And then you can say, should that be a static link? Yeah. That means I like to change that view on a, another management center. Then you need to type in the IP address of the remote management center need to type in the username and password here yeah? and then you're choosing a symbol for that here yeah? we have already choosing the monitor symbol for that and then uh, 
by pressing this button, it will sending to this PC, to that management center, the command, please show me that two cameras on the screen. So you can see you can build easily a monitor wall solution. This is um, the new functionality of the soft buttons, how we configure that. And if we, for example, taking simple commands like obscure area on, all what you need to do is to selecting obscure area on, selecting an icon, and then define as a type camera command. If we using this, if the operator using this command, he's using here the soft button selection, choosing obscure area on, and from that moment on, he can activating uh, the privacy area on the cameras, on the selected cameras easily. So um, also privacy reasons could be easily implemented with such kind of soft buttons. And if he like to disabling the obscure area, you press again another button, and then you see immediately the command will send to the cameras or to the selected cameras. Yeah? And this is, is a very powerful functionality. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, workshop and please watch also the other workshops about the new features of the Management Center 2.5.2. Thank you very much.